Hey YouTube, welcome back to another video. My name is Jeffrey and in today's video, we're gonna be breaking down three things that you need to know before purchasing the North Face Retro 1996 Nupsy Jacket. I feel like this year has been the most I've ever seen this puffer jacket in existence, especially out here in New York. Instagram reels, TikTok, and YouTube shorts blowing up this Nupsy Jacket and making everyone wanna purchase their first ever. And I'm one of those people. I've always wanted a TNF Nupsy jacket and this year I finally have one. So this video is going to be split into three parts and we're going to go through them quickly. So if at any point you find this video helpful or you just like the content, please consider subscribing. I would appreciate that greatly. So the first thing we're going to talk about is going to be the cropping on this jacket. Yes, this jacket is extremely boxy and it is relaxed so it's more on the roomy side. However, everyone's calling it extremely cropped. People are worried that the jacket is too short on them or that they purchased the wrong size because it's not long enough. But that's the point of this jacket. That's why this jacket is made like this. It's meant to resemble the retro jackets back in the day that used to come like this. And that's the point of this jacket. So if you're trying to get a longer version or you're just scared that this jacket doesn't fit you because it looks too short on you, that's the point of this jacket. So if you want it longer, this jacket is probably not for you. You should probably look at other uh, TNF products that they do have definitely longer styles and stuff like that. But the point of this Nupsy jacket is to have that boxy, slightly cropped look while having that oversized aspect still on top. So basically, in my opinion, no matter what, whatever size you get, even though every size up, it does get slightly longer. It's only about an inch to an inch and a half difference but between each size. And honestly, it's still gonna be slightly cropped and boxy. So if you're in need of an XL because you're tall, you have a bigger arms, a bigger chest, it's still gonna be cropped on you. It's gonna fit everywhere perfectly, but the length, you're gonna think it's too short, but it's supposed to sit at your waist. So don't worry about that. That's the point of this jacket. And that's the proper way to wear this jacket. Specifically, when you go to the TNF website, these models are six feet tall, wearing a size medium. Now, I think that's a little too extreme. They're definitely trying to show the slightly box, uh, cropped and boxy fit of this jacket. I'm pretty sure they should be wearing larges or extra larges, in my opinion. So, now that we got the sizing and the cropping out of the way, because that's the point of this jacket. So, if you're looking to see why, why this is happening, why it's so cropped, it's because that's the point of the jacket. So let's move on to sizing because that's probably the most important part of this video and the main reason I'm making this video. Now I am 5'6 and I weigh 135 and I have both a small and medium on hand and I'll be putting both of them on and comparing them. So you can judge for yourself also in the comments whether you think the medium looks better on me or the small looks better on me. But you know, I already ultimately know which one I prefer and what will happen in the future. So let me break it down. So for both jackets, I actually put them on without a hoodie and then with a hoodie and I show you what it looks like unzipped and zipped. And I never actually opened the, the hoodie on the jacket itself because I don't think there's a point. I don't really, not a lot of people actually will be using that hood, to be honest. I probably will not use the hood unless it's actually raining on me and I didn't know and I wasn't prepared for the rain. I put it on with a hoodie and without a hoodie and I'm gonna show you the small first in every scenario and I'm gonna label it and also the medium in every scenario. And then there will be some side-by-side -side comparisons later on. But as you can see, the small is definitely smaller in the aspects of the arm length and also how high up it goes on me. The difference between the size of small and medium when I measured from the highest point on the shoulder to the bottom was a 1.5 inch difference from 25 being on the small and 26.5 being on the medium in length. Another thing is obviously when you go from a small to a medium, there's much, much more room inside. It's very roomy. So when I threw on the hoodie underneath the size small, it wasn't too roomy in the jacket, but it wasn't very snug either. So I'd say it's actually pretty perfect to wear a hoodie underneath still. When I threw it on the medium, same scenario, but I had uh, way more extra room to work with underneath the jacket. If you're trying to go for that oversized look with this puffer jacket, I would say go a size up and you can achieve that look easily because this jacket does get bigger inside the jacket and lengthwise. But if you're looking for that um, slightly crop boxy, how it's meant to be looked, look, then go ahead and go your true size. Your true size will not fail you. So this is my scenario. Once I start putting on the weight and start packing on the muscle on the upper body for me, and I get to around 150, maybe 155, which I was at one point, uh, I'm probably going to say that the arms will probably fill out better and that I can go and grab a medium and it would look not as bad to me as it does now. But in my opinion, I think the small looks better on me currently at my weight and my height. If you're an athletic build and you're my height and you definitely have bigger arms and a bigger chest than me, I would say that maybe going for a medium is, your, is the go-to for you because you would be able to fill out the arms and the chest region, which I think 
doesn't look so good on someone who is my weight currently so that's really the only difference the length wise you're barely going to notice it. it's going to be an inch difference another thing is when you cinch the jacket the jacket will roll up slightly so you will lose about one inch on both any size actually small medium or large when you cinch the jacket so that's just for the air not to go in and honestly i think it looks good when you cinch the jacket but i will say this leave a comment down below with your height your weight and the current size that you own so that you can help other people and y'all know y'all can have a discussion in the comments on whether you think a size small is better or a medium is better for your current height or a large or an extra large you know anything leave it down in the comments and help each other out and it'll help other people out so that will be much appreciated by me and the other people that are looking through these videos to find what size they should buy so yeah, that was the main point of this video was sizing to help people my height five six five 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 seven any around that region from five five to five eight to help figure out what size they should buy and depending on the weight that they are up here in my opinion that matters a lot whether uh for what type of fit you're trying to go for if you're going for oversized size up if you want to fit it stay, stay true to size and depending on the weight you are you may be a size small or medium at my height five six the third thing we're gonna move on to the third thing and the third thing we're going to be talking about is going to be the warmth and the utility of this jacket i actually threw on this jacket recently on the coldest day of winter so far in 2023 where it was around like eight degrees in the morning and i threw it under i threw a hoodie underneath and it was perfectly fine i have no gloves on i put my hands in my pocket and in about a couple minutes they warmed up the pockets were warm my hands were warm so this jacket does an extremely good job in low degree weather in eight degrees fahrenheit by the way but this jacket is for up to negative 13 degrees fahrenheit so i would wear it up to that point so actually when i throw it on without a hoodie too and i step out around like the 30 degree 20 degree weather it actually still does the job sometimes i don't want to wear a hoodie so it still keeps me warm still does the job and i wore it sometimes in the rain already so far too and it does keep it the water out it is slightly water resistant not waterproof but it is it does do some slight good water resisting so hoodie on or hoodie off and around 20 to 30 degree weather this jacket will still keep you warm while looking stylish and being very comfortable so the last thing i'm gonna give you a bonus bonus tip is gonna be colorways let's talk about the colorways now if you go into the website you're gonna see plenty of general release colorways that they have they have a lot a lot of good colorways you don't need, you just need to buy the black and black that everyone's getting even though it does look crisp and goes with everything i think that this gray on black goes with a lot of things too the brown on brown the orange on black it has a lot of good colorways you don't have to just rely on tnf colorways there's supreme collaborations there's a cog collaboration that came out recently definitely look out for the collaborations they will do extremely well and they will look hopefully extremely unique and you'll be able to pick them up okay so thank you for watching the video i made this video basically for people that are my height and my build that don't know what size to go for these are my recommendations i recommend going true to size so size small if you're around my height and if you want it oversized or planning on putting on weight maybe or already are an athletic build probably try the medium you'd probably have to go in store and so drop a comment down below whether you think a medium or small looks better on your body type and your weight all that good stuff let me know what you think about um the video thank you for watching the video i will see y'all on the next one i'm out ah i've been wearing these a lot recently mainly to work but i'm gonna have to drop a review on these real soon